This way to Alderhey Hospital in Liverpool, where 14-year-old Alex has hurt his arm. Ooh, it's bendy. What happened? Okay, my ball saved the goal and broke my arm. You broke your arm saving a goal? That must have been some kick. Let's see what happened. Alex was playing in a five-a-side football match at school. Was he magic with the ball like Messi? No, Zand, he was saving the ball like... Like... Like a brilliant goalkeeper, making lots of great saves, leaping left and right. Then one boy, the strongest kicker on the pitch, took a shot. Whoa, that ball's moving like a rocket! On a one-way mission to the back of the net. But Alex had other plans. He threw his hands out for a save, the ball crashed right into his arm and bent it. Ouch! Alex is off to X-ray to check on the damage. That's brilliant. You're doing really well. <laughs> OK, well done. To deliver the results is bone specialist Dr Vinesh Selvaratnam. So, he's what he's got, he's got a fracture of both the bones. He certainly has. What we're going to try and do, see whether we can give him something to just sedate him, give it a pull and put a plaster, OK? If this is successful, Alex won't need an operation. When a bone breaks, sometimes it moves out of its normal position. With a double break like Alex's, your arm can look bendy because the bones have overlapped. When this happens, they need to be pulled apart and then slotted back together like a jigsaw so they heal nicely. That's the plan for Alex. Let's see how he gets on later. In Sheffield, eight-year-old Mason is in with what appears to be a broken arm. But he's no stranger to broken bones. Oh, I broke one of my arms twice and another one's. And I've broke both legs. So this is my fourth arm break now. You might be thinking Mason must be the most accident-prone boy around. But in fact, there's a good reason why he's broken so many of his bones. I've got a bone problem called polystatic fibrosis. Dysplasia, it's a tongue twister that. Certainly is. It means my bones can break really easily. So how did he manage to break his arm this time? Well, Mason was on his way home from school. He set off down the hill as usual, minding his own business, as usual, but he was distracted and didn't notice that the curb on the pavement was really high. High like a mountain? No, Zant, that would be ridiculous. It's a normal street. Anyway, as I said, he was distracted and he went to step up. He had a momentary lapse of concentration. Whoa! I'm not surprised. Did you just see what I just saw? But before he knew it, he flew forward and landed smash right on his elbow. Ouch! Now Mason's off to X-ray to find out exactly what's going on. The bone condition Mason has is called fibrous dysplasia. And it means the areas of his bones, which should be hard, are actually soft, meaning they can break more easily. And there's no denying Mason's got a bad break there. Over to another Dr Chris, Dr Christopher Beavis. So your x-ray shows you've got a fracture at the bottom of your humerus, which is your long bone here. What we need to do now is put a cast on it to hold your arm in that position and hopefully a lot less painful for you. The cast will stop the broken bone moving, but Mason will need an operation in the next few days to properly fix his arm. Putting a cast on with such a bad break can be painful, but don't worry, the nurse has got a couple of tricks up her sleeve. So we're going to give you some medicine, sweetheart, that you just have to squirt up your nose. After some painkillers squirted up his nose, there's some laughing gas. And take some good breath. Perfect. As you breathe laughing gas in, it numbs the pain receptors in your brain so that you can't feel a thing. Making things hurt a lot less and giving you a giggle along the way. <laughs> and it's not called laughing gas for no reason. <laughs> it seems to be contagious and can turn you into a stand-up comedian. Or a lie-down one, anyway. What's a hedgehog's favourite food? What's a hedgehog's favourite food? Prickled onions. <laughs> Prickled onions? Oh, dear, Mason. But the show's over, and with the cast on, Mason can go home until his operation. We'll be back later to find out how he gets on.